Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie O. Today I created this look because I'm trying to get more use out of my 120 color palettes that you guys are seeing versus using like 50 different products from different brands. Not that I'm opposed to doing that. So the look is fairly simple. It's kind of jewel toned inspired with a bold lip. There are uh, really no rules that say you cannot pair a bold eye with a bold lip. So, of course, feel free to uh, interchange it the way that you like it or you prefer. Wear it with a nude lip, wear it with a soft pink lip, etc., etc., etc. I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial and thank you for watching. I don't know what brought you here, but thank you for staying. I'll see you guys later. I'm starting this look off by doing my eyes and my brows first simply because we're going to be using tons of glitter and uh, chalky dusty products so I'm going to get the eyes out the way okay step one is filling in my brows with a brow pencil the one that I'm using is spiked from Mac and it's just a dark brown brow pencil I'm just barely filling in over the natural shape of my brow I used a brow brush and just barely went over the brows to kind of just brush out the harsh lines. I'm using Studio Finish Concealer in NW40 along with a brow brush to just kind of sculpt underneath my eyebrows and get them to a perfected arch. This step is optional. And make sure you smooth and blend that out all the way, whether it be with the brow brush or with your finger. I'm also going to add concealer on my eyelid give us some longevity for our eyeshadow colors next using eyeshadow base i'm using my 24 hour color tattoo the name of it is painted purple i applied this all over my eyelid from inner to outer corner and make sure you blend out around the edges sometimes i like to add a little bit extra on the outer corner to get those crease colors to stand out more now using our palette i'm gonna pick this dark purple here you can use any dark purple eyeshadow that you have I used a pointed tapered blending brush and I began just patting it onto my outer corner and then I'm going to start sweeping it into my crease and I'm also going to extend it out and now I'm using a blending brush that's a little bit on the fluffier side and I'm blending it out mainly like around the edges of where we apply the shadow Keep blending and elongating it outward. The longer you point it out, the better. I'm going to use like a yellowish gold eyeshadow, which is, um, I'm gonna use this one here. And I applied this one in my brow bone. I'm gonna use a little bit of a matte orange color, this one here. And in between the brow bone highlight and the purple crease, I'm going to start to blend a bit of that orange in there. Just a little bit, not too much. And hang on to that orange because we're gonna be coming back to it later. Now I'm gonna apply a soft pink shadow. I'm using this one here from the palette. This is a matte color, by the way. I am patting that onto my eyelid. Because of the base that we used earlier, it's looking a little bit like lilac, which is fine by me, I don't really care. I'm going to use a green eyeliner. This is Minted from MAC. It's just an emerald green liner. I'm going to line along my bottom lash line from inner to outer corner. Then I applied an LA Splash pigment, which is really pretty. It's called Enchanted Forest, or you can use any just like emerald green pigment that you may have, or even glitter. Glitter would look really pretty. I'm using a liner brush to apply that green along my bottom lash line. I went back to that matte orange eyeshadow that we used earlier and a blending brush and I applied it all along the bottom like just basically tracing along that crease under eye area so you want to see kind of like a sideways triangle I'm using my liquid liner from elf I'm really going to make it thick on the I usually like to start on the outer ends by the way I'm gonna make it thick on the outer ends And then I'm barely gonna make the line really, really thin on the inner corner. And we can add mascara later once we do all the powder and stuff. Okay, now it's time to add foundation, yay! I'm using the Makeup Forever HD. I'm applying this with my e.l.f. powder brush for a full coverage, always full coverage finish. I'm gonna watch it around the eyes and we're still not done with that area. 
make sure you get like um, the sides of your nose area and like in between those brows oh god I'm using my Coastal Sense Camouflage Concealer Palette. I'm applying this concealer directly underneath my eyes, somewhat generously, but again, you wanna make sure you watch those eyes. I'm also going to use the concealer to highlight down the bridge of my nose, as well as my forehead. I really like this palette and I really like this color too. It almost is like a really, it's a really great highlight for me. So I like using it. So it should kinda of like branch out like a tree. I'm also using the edge of my brush to kind of sharpen out that line in our crease, the crease of our eyes. See how I did that? You see what I did there? But yeah, after you do that, uh, keep blending. Please keep blending. I'm going to use a damp latex sponge, dampening it with some, just a little bit of Fix Plus, and I'm now blending out that concealer around the edges of it. And latex sponges are just cheaper alternatives for those of you guys that don't have access to like beauty blenders and stuff like that which are fabulous but just showing you guys how to use stuff that you can find in your own drugstore and look just as fab now we still need to set that concealer i'm using the laura mercier translucent setting powder just pop that bad boy on with a, another latex sponge or you can use a um, small powder brush like the 116 from MAC also works well underneath the eyes. This is just what I have on hand right now. Apply the powder in any place where creasing would occur or um, in the place of like my nose where I would normally get shiny. So it's gonna help lock that foundation and concealer into place and help reduce shine. Brush off the excess powder with a large powder brush. This is one from Sigma Makeup. This is the F20. Really, really like this brush actually. And I'm just sweeping off the excess. You're gonna look a little ghastly for a moment. Apply a finishing powder. I'm going to use the Ben Nye Translucent Face Powder in Chestnut. And Chestnut, she's so pretty, is being applied with the same loose powder brush all over my face. And I'm kind of like patting it on more than I am sweeping it. But yeah, all you gotta do is just make sure that you apply it all over and evenly. We said we were going to come back to that orange eyeshadow, so I am using a blending brush and tracing along my bottom lash line with that orange. Hey! All back there. Check that out. It's pretty cool, huh? I'm using Fascinating Eye Coal from MAC or any white eye pencil of choice that you may have and that is being applied in my waterline. I used one of these dark brown matte eyeshadows from the palette and I'm using it to contour. It was kind of hard to dig in with that with this big brush, but I managed to figure it out. All up in those cheekbones. Ooh, this actually isn't bad for a contour. Okay, I'll see that. Not bad. Blend that into almost like the temple area. And um, you can contour the forehead area if you like. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave that one alone today. I'm now using NYX Dusty Rose Blush for my cheeks. It's just basically something that's soft pink. You remember that orange yellow highlight color we used in the brow bone? I'm gonna actually apply that on my cheekbone. High points of my cheekbones is a highlight. Starting off with just a little bit and then I'm just going to graze it back. Um, in any case, you always wanna start off small when you're not really too sure because I actually have never tried that before. So whenever you're not too sure of how something's gonna look, start off small. You don't wanna over apply and then have to fix whatever mistake that you made. So I think it looks not bad. I'm going to combine my Maybelline Lash Stiletto and my YSL Shocking Mascara for the eyes. First I apply the YSL Shocking. Then I apply the Lash Stiletto. And I only use the Lash Stiletto for my bottom lashes because the YSL is a bit on the clumpy side. Now I'm adding some Red Cherry number 415s on the outer ends of my eyes. I just cut them in half. Just pop those bad boys onto the ends. You can wear full strip lashes if you'd like. They just look retarded on me. And I mean, really retarded. Now it's time to add a lip color. I'm lining my lips with a dark burgundy liner. This is Vino from MAC. Then I applied Violetta lipstick from MAC. Then I added a soft, like, nude gloss. This is see-through from MAC, and that is the final look. 